patnubay ng mga magulang ang kailangan sa programang ito ngayong hapon. We are back on Kababayan today and we're wrapping up our show talking about love and self-love, self-care, what that means to us as Filipinos living in America. Some last words from our panelists who have devoted their time to share with you this afternoon their thoughts. Thank you so, so much. Mm -hmm. Tunet, ang mensahe mo sa ating mga kababayan na nanonood pagdating sa buwan ng pag-ibig, what that means and how important it is to start with ourselves. Um, I just want to reiterate what we've mm. already talked about mm. here that you know it is very important to love yourself and it doesn't mean it the self-love does not mean it's selfish mm. right it's that you know um, what your love language is and you have to acknowledge other people's love language and in so doing then everybody can just be enveloped in this great love and I know it sounds so optimistic and right? idealistic yeah. but honestly I mean what else is there in this world but fear and love right mm. one pushes you the other one you know takes you back right. and so you have to be able to acknowledge that you know love yourself so that you're able to love others mm -hmm. and in that way then you know this world would be a better place <laughs> right uh, please let everybody know about Kayamanan ng Lahi as well oh yes yeah. um, you know I've been very blessed because Kayamanan ng Lahi uh, has been a family to me um, Kayamanan ng Lahi has showed me great love and in return I through their example and the examples of our leaders and um, the members of Kayamana ng Lahi, I am able to express my love as well. Um, Kayamana ng Lahi is a Philippine folk arts organization. We are based here in Los Angeles. We rehearse every Sunday on a volunteer basis here at uh, SIPA, which is Search to Involve Filipino Americans here in Hi-Fi, historic Filipino town. So come on by, drop us a visit, um, watch or join. We'd yeah. love to have you. All right, thank you so much, Tanet. Irene. Yeah, I think, you know, echoing what the last topic we just talked about, I think, um, you know, in the, in the month of love, um, I think in regards to self-love, it's, you know, I wish more people would really listen to themselves. Mm. Um, you know, I think we have to learn how much more to trust mm. our inner voice mm -hmm. and um, not to be scared to do new things set out new courses in your life and um, not be so concerned with the outside chatter and really just living up to yourself and your you know your needs your desires and I mean just really living yeah that's you know yeah. that's the ultimate in self-love okay please tell us about your shelter if people want to help out too right um, actually one of the messages that I uh, I always love you know being love bringing out there is the idea um, for people who want to have pets or get pets mm -hmm. to please um, adopt don't shop um, we have shelters in all parts of um, Los Angeles County or in the city of LA they, they have wonderful wonderful you know um, all types of dogs cats bunnies you can even get um, uh, ducks if your house <laughs> like allows for it. But um, please uh, visit your shelter. Not all shelter animals are damaged. Please do not believe that fallacy. Um, work with shelter volunteers to identify good dogs mm -hmm. and cats. Mm -hmm. Who and you know you have an opportunity to if you already have a pet to bring your pet and see if they you know um, match or you know if their temperaments are good. But um, definitely, please, please, please. There's two. There are too many. Uh, pets that are going to be euthanized in our shelters um, if they're not adopted. So you don't have to buy a pet. Just go to a shelter. You want a German Shepherd? They got German Shepherds. Okay. You know? <laughs> Just uh, I have, have to hook my daughter up with you because she she definitely wants <laughs> please, to volunteer. Uh, please. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you, Irene. And of course, uh, Allison, uh, you have completed our panel with such inspiring words of wisdom. Salamat. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I am humbled. Oh, no, I'm humbled all the time. Your message to our kababayans. I think it's a message that I try to, um, I have really been trying to honor is 
to not only um, listen to myself, but like, what does it mean to really be open and to receive the love that I'm getting from other people? Because I can storm around and be mad and feel like I'm not getting the attention I want or nobody's listening to me, but I notice that when the love does come, I have to work on bringing down the walls that prevent me from actually absorbing and being able to feel full in what I'm receiving from other people. Mm -hmm. So part of my self-care is like, did I stop and listen and acknowledge that G just told me I was helpful? You know what yeah, I mean? Like, how you're do I, awesome. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so how do, we, how, do I, how do I breathe in that? And then how do I monitor my self-love and my ego so that it's not about my ego, but it's just about, can I just be grounded in what is important to me and so that I can move from a place of grounded and centeredness and not panic or fear or worry about all the things that I think are wrong with me. Yeah. Thank you, ladies, mm -hmm. for Thank being you. here. Yeah. So important that we talk about these uh, topics because we are Filipino living in America. Mm -hmm. There is a culture we need to retain, but at the same time, we have to, you know, break boundaries mm -hmm. because it is a new uh, age. 2016 na, mga kababayan. Thank you for joining us today and this afternoon. Maraming salamat po.